On Sunday, millions throughout Southeast Asia celebrated the holiday of Diwali. Guyana is one of the few nations outside of Asia that actually celebrates this primarily Hindu holiday. So why is this tiny English-speaking nation on the northern coast of South America celebrating a Hindu holiday? Cue title sequence. Hello friends and welcome to another episode of For the Culture Guyana. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload new videos. We'll have new uploads every week. As I said, we just finished celebrating a holiday called Diwali. For those who don't know what that is, Diwali or Deepwali is the Hindu festival of lights. The celebration falls in late October slash early November. It is considered one of the most popular holidays in Hinduism, which is why the day of its observance or the Monday following it is recognized as a national holiday in Guyana. The word Diwali comes from the Sanskrit word Deepwali, which means row of lights. The holiday is actually recognized by four different faiths, Hinduism, as well as Jainism, Sikhism, and Buddhism. For each of these faiths, the specific reason for the celebration is different. However, it is agreed that for each faith, Diwali symbolizes the spiritual victory of light over darkness, of good over evil, and of knowledge over ignorance. Nevertheless, some records suggest that Diwali originated as a harvest festival that actually preceded the religious observations of the holiday. The celebration lasts five days with Diwali proper occurring on the third day, coinciding with the darkest night of the Hindu religious calendar month of Kartika. So for some clarification, uh, unlike what some people say, it is not the darkest night of the year, which is of course December 21st, but rather it is the darkest night within this Hindu calendar month of Kartika, which usually lands somewhere in late October or early November. So in the lead up to Diwali, Hindus will clean and renovate their homes and offices, make brightly colored and beautiful designs named rangolis and light firecrackers. During the climax, homes are brightly lit with diyas, which are little oil lamps or candles. Worship of Lakshmi, the Hindu goddess of prosperity and wealth is also common during this period as well. Uh, while several nations with significant Hindu populations celebrate Diwali, Guyana is unique in its celebration of Diwali as it is the only nation to formally host an annual motorcade on the eve of the holiday. The tradition goes back decades and attracts thousands each year to watch dozens of decorated floats travel down the east coast of Demerara. However, there are smaller motorcades in Burbese and the Essequibo coast and wherever there are large concentrations of Hindus in Guyana. And I also just wanted to make a note, I don't know if y'all just heard a firecracker just there, but yes, that's a very common thing. You're going to hear them everywhere and anywhere all the time. It makes it sound like Iraq. Anyway, the tradition followed the Guyanese diaspora, so there is actually an annual Diwali motorcade in the neighborhood of Richmond Hill in Queens, New York aka Region 11. So this holiday is considered a very festive time with food being a big thing, uh, of course like with many other holidays. So this is when everybody shares out their prasad, eh, parsad, I then said prasad. <laughs> the parsad and sweetmeats, just to name a few traditional foods. And just as a note for anybody who may not know that sweetmeats aren't actually meats at all, that they are actually different sweet pastries and confections. Uh, why it's called sweetmeats, I don't know, don't ask me. This spirit is just so festive and family and community is such a big thing during this time. The importance of the holiday has actually surpassed this religious meaning and is even considered a cultural event for the nation right now with even non-Hindus celebrating the holiday. It may sound strange, but think of it as kind of like how non-Christians celebrate Christmas in America. Yeah, exactly. So why is a primarily Hindu holiday celebrated in Guyana? 
because the nation has a large East Indian population, obviously. Primarily, today's Indo-Guyanese are the descendants of the Indians who came as indentured servants in the 19th century. On May 5th, 1838, the first group of indentured laborers arrived in British Guiana, as it was called at the time. It was a British colony. This was also a British colony at the time when the British had colonized India. So they were both colonized nations at the time. The Indians that were brought from India were brought to Guyana to fill the vacant jobs on the plantations following the abolition of slavery in the British Empire. Of course, after slavery ended, you had a lot of the now freed Africans, Afro-Guyanese, said that they didn't want to stay on the plantations anymore and work under their former slave masters. Uh, many of them moved into the bigger towns, uh, the capital, and some even starting their own villages as well too, which is an episode that we'll go into in on later on. So the thousands that came over the years, many of them Hindu, brought with them their traditions, their cultures, and their belief. And of course, their religious holidays, such as Diwali, obviously. So that's Diwali and that's why a small English speaking country on the northern coast of South America celebrates the popular Hindu holiday. It's a very festive holiday, it's a very festive time, and if you're in Guyana or planning to visit Guyana, this is a great time to come and experience a wonderful piece of Guyanese culture. They shoot firecrackers off all the time and I hate that because it makes it sound like a war zone. and. Also, technically, the firecrackers are illegal to sell, but people still do sell them and shoot them off. Don't ask. Of course, like everyone, I love all the festivities and all the great stuff and the food being shared out and everything else. So hey, who knows, maybe the next year we might do an episode from the motorcade. So how about you just go and tell us in the comments how you feel about that, if you think you'd be interested in that. We also want to hear from you if you are here and you did get to celebrate Diwali. Or if you're even in New York and you saw the motorcade that they had earlier this month, how about you send us some of your pictures? If we like them, we just might put them on our Facebook page. And speaking of a Facebook page, yes, we do have a Facebook page and be sure to check it out. And also like and follow and share because this is where we'll post great and interesting stuff about Guyana almost every day. So now, but before we go, I also want to let everyone know that this episode was sponsored by my mom. Thanks for the support as always. And to everyone else, be sure to check us out next week for another episode. And also be sure to like and share with your friends. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you're celebrating Diwali, you're doing it for the culture.